crew capsule, losing billions of dollars after years of technical issues, still isn't ready to fly astronauts to the International Space Station. In its first update in two months, Boeing says, still working on the Starliner's latest problems. News 6's James Barvero tells us when that troubled spaceship might finally be ready. Well, now the crewed flight test might not happen until at least next March. That's the news coming down from this afternoon's teleconference. Despite more delays, NASA says it's still committed to the Starliner program. Our plan all along has been to have two different unique and diverse space transportation systems. We're working hard to get that in place. But as Starliner's first flight with astronauts continues to get delayed, Boeing is reporting $1.5 billion in losses for the program. Nine years ago, NASA awarded Boeing more than a billion dollars more than SpaceX to build spaceships capable of ending America's dependence on Russia to fly astronauts to the International Space Station. And liftoff. Starliner is headed back to space. As SpaceX this month prepares to launch its seventh full-length crew to the space station, Starliner in the last four years has only launched two test flights, and they each had technical issues. Boeing now says astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams won't ride Starliner until the spaceship might finally be ready next year in March. First, Boeing says new parachutes should be delivered in December. NASA says workers are also removing pounds of flammable tape that protects wiring. That new parachute is the uh, critical path, the delivery of that parachute. It's being built by Airborne as we speak. NASA and Boeing say they're also putting in place independent reviews of Starliner. Therefore, if another issue comes up, they say it won't go unaddressed. At Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6.